All right, so staples of my diet, eggs is a huge staple of my diet. Always eat eggs. Another main source of protein and a staple of my diet is chicken. Again, a good, excellent source of protein. When I do eat ground beef, it is this. It's 96% lean, 4% fat. This is another staple of my diet. Fish, I'm not a cod fan. I don't really like eating cod. But good, good source of protein. I'll go over the labels later, guys. I'm just kind of showing you what I get when I go to grocery shopping. Another source of protein would be lunch meat. I know some of you guys are like, oh my gosh, it's, it's processed. Well, it is, but when you're in a hurry, I'm telling you, it, it, it makes it quick and easy. You look at that, it's not too bad, guys. Um, two ounces, 10 or 50 calories, one gram of fat, and nine grams of protein. And another source of protein I got. I usually eat this with my eggs. Canadian bacon. I usually pair this up with my eggs. Another source of protein, we got um, these little containers of lunch meat. I got roast beef, got roast beef, I got um, black forest ham, and mesquite turkey. And again, you guys are probably thinking, why are you eating lunch meat this process? Like I said, it's all about convenience, guys. One gram of fat, one gram of sugar, nine grams of protein per two ounce serving and most of the time guys i'll just heat the whole the whole thing up and eat it all um but yeah another form of protein i eat is low fat cottage cheese small cured all right my dessert guys i don't even want to say it's a cheat meal because if you use it wisely now you can eat this whole thing as long as you make it ma match your macros which is what i usually do but um it all depends on you know what I got left, how hungry I am, and all that stuff. But I've been a huge, huge um, supporter of Halo Top. I have strawberry here, which is going to bring up my next contestant. Bam! Fat-free, ready whip. One gram of sugar, no protein, none of all that, no carbs, nothing. So I add this to that, kind of spoil myself with a little um, good treat. Peanut butter, all natural peanut butter. This is the peanut butter I eat. Um, I usually combine that with rice cakes. I'll put a serving of that on my rice cakes or just eat my rice cakes. This is my source of carbs. Or I got the Quaker brand, caramel corn. Not bad, it's a good snack. Broccoli, always eat my broccoli. I always have it in a shake. But broccoli I eat, um, brown rice. Always have chicken, brown rice. And another complex carb, red potatoes. Um, snacks, unsalted almonds, be careful on these because your fat content, but it's healthy fats. This is what I would break my fast with. So, I'll go ahead and get the bowl out. I put it on the scale, I zeroed it out, bam. I'm gonna start off with 195 grams of cooked brown rice. Well, let me change this to grams first. 194 grams, that's what I looked up. I always measure it four ounces of cooked rice, but I get mixed opinions on it. See, it says 195. All right, so now, get my red potato. 148 grams. All right, so I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna cut these up, guys, just to make room for my chicken. All right, so I gotta 149 grams of red potato. Now I'm gonna put, I'll switch back two ounces. I just, it's what I always do guys. I measure eight ounces of chicken. Bam, eight ounces of chicken. So, if we go by grams, 228 grams. And that's it, I'm gonna throw this in a microwave. I'm gonna eat all this meal. And I'll tell you what, this is another tip. You add Italian style cheese to this, man it makes, especially the rice it gives the rice so much flavor tastes like cheesy rice the macros on this ain't bad either you're looking at i usually put maybe two or three servings on it so you're talking about 60 60 gram or 60 calories all together that's four and a half grams of fat for three servings roughly i don't know i'm not a mathematician i can't do it in my head but yeah we add this to that and All right guys, so what I got for my chicken is Frank's Red Hot Buffalo um, flavor. Macros are nothing, no fat, uh, no sugar. That's what you gotta look out for when you do your sauces. Look out for sugar. I am gonna use a little bit of catsup for my um, 
red potatoes and then here is where you'll get into some sugar for four grams of sugar okay so i just got to be very careful just use maybe two servings of this do that's 40 calories uh eight grams of sugar so that ain't bad look at this guy he smells the chicken smell the chicken daddy can i have some chicken daddy um and like i said i'm gonna be using this so i might end up using a little bit of this green tabasco we'll see how it goes so that's what i got going on right now guys i'm gonna eat this and uh check, catch up gene in a little bit what's up guys we are on our way to the gym it is saturday 4 40 august 5th so i'm gonna go to planet fitness i didn't plan on working out really officially until monday but I'll feel pretty darn good, so I think Planet Fitness closes at 7. So I'm probably going to go hit a couple machines, try to hit all upper body, at least two working sets, probably 10 to 12, um, depending on how I feel. Um, feel really good, maybe I'll hit and do more sets. So we'll see. It's just kind of filling out phase. I'm going to go and try to torch my arms a little bit, my chest and back, get that soreness over with. So when I do start working out Monday, um, I can hit the ground running, so to speak. But we'll see what happens, guys. I'll check with you when I hit the gym. So what I'm gonna be doing today, I'm gonna do all these machines. Um, no rest, no break. I'm basically gonna go through three times and just kill it. Um, it's, it's a little bit of a mixture of everything. And then if I feel like I didn't hit a muscle group, I'm gonna go ahead and go outside and hit it. So here we go. and I'll catch up with you after this. That was killer. That was a killer workout. Whew. Air conditioner on. All right, guys. So, as you'll see in the video, I think I did about 20 minutes of Stairmaster. Burnt like two, over 250 calories, I think. But more importantly, I was in that yellow room. I think it's called like the uh, speed room. I did three rounds of, of full body. Yeah, and it was pretty good. Um, other than working, it's the first time I ever did a bicep, tricep workout. Um, so I look for that to be pretty sore, but all in all guys, that felt incredible. Um, I miss it. So I think I'm running out of time on my memory card, but 
I really, really miss that feeling. That um, I just can't explain it. Um, the hardest part is getting started, guys. Once you get started, man, for myself, it becomes an addiction. Like I love that feeling. I don't know, it's, it's weird. I'm sure if you if you work out yourself and you're watching this, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but it's that feeling of getting something accomplished. You just know that you did something good. I, I can't explain it, it's weird. And then when that soreness, when you wake up, uh, it's just a reassuring thing that you did do something good. And so I just love that too, so. All right guys, I'm gonna get off here, go home. Hopefully the wife's awake from her nap and we're gonna go get something to eat or go eat something. I'm thinking something like chicken, I don't know, maybe the mariachi. All right, I love you guys. See you on the next one.